If you like what you see in this video, check out the affiliate links in the description where you will find a discount code and a link for all the products on the Melgeek website. This is the Melgeek Mojo 84 in the plastic advanced colorway. I bought this keyboard by joining the VIP club of the Kickstarter which was the earliest join up option, giving the most discount and a total price of $159 with free shipping and no import fees to pay on arrival in Spain. The timeline for the Kickstarter project was 12th of July I paid the VIP club refundable joining deposit of $1. 7th of August I paid the remaining $158 for the total pledge of $159 and on the 29th of September the keyboard was delivered. The available colorways during the Kickstarter were the plastic original which is the white and orange version and the plastic advance which is this one. I think we also had the choice between the custom plastic kale switch and the brown kale switch. I went for the custom plastic kale switch. The box the Mojo 84 came in was nice and sturdy with a plastic sheath over the cardboard box inside. Inside was the connection guide and short manual, the 2.4 GHz dongle, the USB-A to USB-C cable which is nice quality and a good colour match for the keyboard. Then inside this small box were the Mac keycaps and the spacebar and the keycap puller which arguably should have been a switch and keycap puller given this is a hot swap keyboard. So let's take a look at some of the specifications. The Mojo 84 has a polycarbonate case and weighs in at around 950 grams. I won't be taking this one apart so let's have a look at the construction. It's a gasket mount keyboard with the upper shell, polycarbonate plate, pour on plate foam, pour on switch mat, PCB, silicone case pad and the bottom shell. They're calling it an upgraded gasket mount, the upgrade not having anything to do with the mounting system itself but the addition of the pour on mat or sheet between the switches and the PCB. It has an ANSI 75% layout, the 84 in the name being the number of switches. The switch options during the Kickstarter are the Kale Custom Plastic Linear Switch with a 38 plus 10 gram operating force and a colorway to match the keyboard and then you have the choice of the Kale Brown Tactile Switches with the 45 plus 10 gram operating force. The keycaps are a very nice custom Melgeek MDA profile double shot ABS. The PCB is south facing hot swappable. The keyboard has infinite RGB which gives infinite customization, you can literally change the color of every single LED, create effects and also program the keyboard using KB Tools, Melgeek's exclusive app. The keyboard has tri-mode connect, Bluetooth 5.2, 2.4 GHz wireless and wired. Bluetooth mode allows connection and instant switching between up to 8 devices using the function plus 1 to 8 keys. For wireless mode it has a whopping 4000 mAh battery. It's Windows and Mac compatible with additional Mac keycaps included in the box. So that's enough on the specifications, let's have a look at the stock typing test. So given I'm not taking this one apart, it feels prudent to spend most of the time talking about my thoughts on the keyboard. And while I'm not the biggest fan of Kickstarters or group buys, I'm starting to come around to the value for money you can get when you back keyboard manufacturers you know on Kickstarter. Yes, it's a wait, but with Melgeek, you know the keyboards are good and will come into stock at some point on the Melgeek website. So all you're really doing is you're buying one at the earliest opportunity that you can for a much better price. At $159, $70 off the retail price, this keyboard was easily one of the best value pre-built out there. At a retail price of $229 when it's released on the website as an in-stock keyboard, it's still worth every single penny. To put it plainly and not to overstate it, the keyboard is awesome. 
If you're looking for a sub $250 pre-built keyboard to plonk on your desk and use straight out of the box, there isn't much better out there if you're looking for these specifications and features. It really needs no modding at all, the stabs are pre-lubed and without rattle, the switches are pre-lubed and feel smooth, and the keyboard is nicely dampened with no work required on that front. It's not a modder's keyboard really, as the case is clipped together which are never much fun to pry apart for fear of damaging clips, but there isn't much to do even if you did take it apart. Gains are marginal in this keyboard in terms of modding, so perhaps it's not for you if you're only really interested in modern keyboards, because um, this it really is that good out of the box. Obviously with it being hot swappable and plate mount cherry stabs you still have some work to do if you wanted. Re-lube and film the switches it came with or swap them out for something different and tune the stabs if you have any issues there. The stabs are lightly pre-lubed but not the stems or inside the housing so there's a gain to be made there. On the topic of the stabs I've only used the keyboard for a few days but I have no idea how these stabs are so good. They are without rattle and they are not sluggish at all. They come lightly pre-lubed where the wires clip into the housings but they just look like a bog standard budget set of plate mount stabs. Usually manufacturers pile lube into the stab so as the ticking and rattling takes a while to kick in, which it always does in my experience, but because these are only lightly pre-lubed, I expect them to stay good for a while. The gasket system seems to work nicely. You can see the eight gasket pads through the top of the frame acting on the top of the plate, and there is a rubber stop on each corner to stop lateral movement of the PCB and plate assembly, so it's only ever touching pour on. I've looked through the pictures on the website and at my keyboard without taking it apart, and it looks like the bottom part of the gasket system is the silicone mute pad or the case pad or case dampening as most know it. I think the plate just lands off here as opposed to actual bottom gaskets but I like it and it seems to work well. The Bluetooth connectivity to up to eight devices before you have to remove any is exceptionally good. The only gripe I have with the keyboard because nothing is ever perfect is the lack of angle adjustment. When swapping out the keyboard I'm using depending on what I'm testing and the favorites I have in rotation. When I arrive at this and the Mojo 68 they feel too low and flat on the desk causing some stiffness in my wrists. After a bit of time I adapt and forget about it to a large degree but I would just prefer to see some legs to allow me to adjust it. Overall this is yet another awesome kickstarter keyboard from Melgeek. They really are very hard to beat in terms of an out the box, unique, no need to mod daily driver keyboard. The 75% layout is a real bonus for me as it's my favourite layout, the type and feel is great, the styling is unique and very cool and the price is very reasonable considering the quality of the product you get and when I say price I'm talking about the $229 it will be when it arrives on the website. I would highly recommend investing in a Mojo 84, it's absolutely awesome.